Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm doing kind of like a widescreen kind of deal with this video and I'm in my garage so pardon the mess, but today is um, a video on my Atari collection, kind of the end of, you know, the last couple of hobbies. I mean, this is the first hobby I ever did, um, all right here, so let's um, talk a little bit about it. Uh, I started collecting in the fifth grade and I just stopped doing it you know once i got into like the eighth grade i got more into records and music this is kind of the thing i want to get back into you know it's fun it looks awesome and it you know it brings back a lot so let's um get started and i'll get to that you know this stuff left you know before but um you you mainly know me from for doing tvs and stuff like that this is uh, a zenith system three and um Sorry, the brightness not be might not be so good, but it's. I got ET for um, kind of a test of it, you know, stuff like that, which it's it's clean. But um, notes from the last you know video with this TV where I was doing you know looking inside of stuff, fine tuning is gone. It just spins, um, which is fine with this one in the box I have for it, which is the original to that. I'll get to that, which is awesome. Um, clean no no rf interference whatsoever um so let's get into the consoles this is my first console pardon i got this one in the fifth grade it was it's really my first first console right here um sure it's got dirt everywhere i cleaned it this is clean i just i never got um, got up perfectly clean and I'm fine with that um, these are both CX 2600A models which I have the owner's manual for um, and actually at one point I had six of these consoles I never had a heavy sixer and I never had a light sixer and I never had a Vader model I just had six of these and I you know over time I got rid of them um, this one, I mean, it's super clean, but, um, if, if you could tell, it's super orange, um, it's because I re, I re -orange them. I got a paint pen and redid it, and I think it looks great. Um, both 1980 models. This is a little older than this one, you could tell from the color. Right there, it's a little lighter compared to right here, which is a little darker orange, but, yeah, who cares? I did it what I want. I did what I want, they're mine. Um... Moving on to this guy. This is my 1978 Heavy Sixer. You can tell it's a Heavy Sixer just by the weight. The RF shield's fucking huge right here. You know, big aluminum shield, which, you know, works great. That's probably why it's so clean. Um, also, you can tell because the thickness on here all the way around is the same. Um, it's all, it's bulky. And it's got, of course, the six switches right here. Works really great. Um, and it did come in its original box. This is, you know, the box from 1978. May, this is all made in Sunnyvale, printed in Sunnyvale, California. It's all American. It's amazing. These were made in Taiwan. I like, I like these, but this is just my favorite. This is sentimental. This is my favorite. And it came with um, the original controller with the, uh, the paint just perfect on this one. This one I redid. I've had this one for a little bit. I just redid it. The other one it came with was broken. And it has the original power adapter that's powering it right now. And it has the original box with it. And I mean, it works just wonderful. Works great. If I hooked it, if I hooked this up to that, same configuration with same box and everything, it wouldn't produce this good of a picture. This is just a really good, really, really, really good console I own. And I, I love it. You know, I paid 100 bucks for this. Um, these were 50 each, you know, rough, rough about price. Um, and this is where you get to the games. Um, these... This is just stuff because I'm planning on actually trading this guy in for, a, you know, the black, uh, the Vader model. 
Because, I, you know, I want the full thing, you know. This, you know, that's just whatever. There's a paddle, a uh, box, adapter, and then breakout. Um, and then I got a bunch of controllers, which I'll take that off. Which is just a spaghetti mess. We have, you know, Star Raiders. We have a controller. This is the controller right here that came with it. And um, if you wonder, oh, it looks great. You know, it's got orange. Well, I mean, it's not the original to this. It would say top on here. But if you could hear. And it's how it's designed, but it just it doesn't work. It only will go right. Um, I got another controller, which I've had. This is my controller forever. It actually used to have orange paint. Um, and it's gone. I got paddles and paddles and stuff like that. Um, really really fun fun stuff right here um next um and yes these are inbox copies uh yars revenge asteroid this this one um didn't come out like this it used to be like this you know and it this is how it turned up um found it underneath my bed and i you know it's a shame that this is what happened to it, but what are you going to do? It's the way she goes. Um, next, these are games. Yes, all these. Um, you got great ones. Uh, Haunted House is fun. Space Invaders. And I've actually, this was actually the first Atari thing I ever bought. I actually, before I even had those consoles, I bought this copy. Donkey Kong, which is in, like, mint condition. Pitfall, Outlaw, uh, Missile Command, which is one of my favorites. Uh, Trick Shot, I've actually never played that. Football, my old copy of Yards of Revenge that I've played. Uh, soccer, I got a venture in here somewhere. You know, Pac-Man, everything. I got, you know, everything that I used to play. Oh, here you go. Adventure. Um, and I actually had, you know, family friend gave a lot of my Atari collection to me, especially these and stuff, especially the games. Um, it's kind of, and he gave me a couple of consoles as well. That's how I got, um, got, I got four, um, because he gave me two and then, you know, I picked up the other two, you know, along the way and I had those. Those are just the remainders. That is what I bought recently. That kind of kickstarted this again. And then, yeah, I got the instruction manual to this, those ones. Um, did not come with those ones. Came with one of the other ones. That was in better condition. And then I do got a comic book of Atari Force with Sword Quest on the back. And then I got an Atari catalog. A lot of stuff. And these are pretty much right here. All of the instructions to every game on in, in this box. You know, Hangman, Home Run, Ice Hockey. Um, some of them I don't have, but I mean, it's it is what is Raiders. I have that. You know, I have all this stuff. Um, I don't have Hero. That is one I do not have, but. Going through everything. I've, I've got it all. All right. So this is the end of my collection. Um, I know it's kind of a quicker video, nine minutes. You know, it's longer than normal, but that that I normally do. But this is it. Um, thank you guys for, so much for watching. And I uh, like, share, subscribe. It's your choice, but it would appreciate me. I appreciate it much. All right. Thank you guys.